Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you something that got me really excited this week. And that is how to do an index match using multiple criteria. Now, for those of you that are familiar with using index match, you know how powerful it is, um, specifically when compared to VLOOKUP, it allows you to look up values on both the left and right of the column uh, that you're using to find your match. But this week, I found a very significant limitation of index match. Um, and that was when I was working in a table of about 40,000 rows, and I was trying to find data um, that had required matching against multiple criteria. And my team and I stopped, we did some research, and we figured out a way that you can do index match while putting in multiple values to match on. And I wanna show you in this video here. So in this example, we have a table up top and it has a list of contractors. In the first row here, it's the company that they were contracting for. The name of the contractor is in the next column. Uh, the third column over is the month that they worked for that company. And the last column is the invoice amount uh, for the time that they put in working for that company. So let's say the question I need to answer is, for John Baker in the month of May, how much did, did we invoice Alpha Solutions for? Normally, my first instinct is just to use index match. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start off with doing an index. And the value that we wanna find is in this range right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. And to match to it, I'm gonna use John Baker's name. And I wanna match inside the column with all of the other employee names. And I want an exact match, put in both my parentheses, and I hit enter. And I get back a thousand, which isn't necessarily wrong, but it's not the value that I'm looking for. So if we actually look to see what happened, we did an index match against John Baker. Um, and this is the first time that the name John Baker shows up. So index match gave us the first result, which is a thousand dollars. The one that we're looking for is actually a couple of rows down and it's here for Alpha Solutions for $1,200. So how do we make sure if we're using index match that we are always getting the right value back or the right bit of data? Well, here's how you do it. First of all, you start off once again with the index and we are still going to index this range here with all of the invoice values because that's what we're looking for. Then we bring in match and this time we're actually gonna match for the number one. It's always gonna be one. So we match for one. Now we need to give it multiple criteria and the way that we're gonna do that is using parentheses and asterisks. So in order to pull in my first criteria, I'm gonna do an open parentheses and I wanna match for John Baker. I'm gonna use an equal sign and I wanna match John Baker in this row. And then I'm gonna close the, close the parentheses. So I'm matching for John Baker in the row of, of employees and the way that I'm doing that is I'm referencing cell C16 should be equal to C5 to C13, which is where all the employee names are. Now to put in my next value, I'm gonna put an asterisk, then I'm gonna go through the same process, I'm gonna do an open parentheses, and this time I'm gonna look for the month of May. I'm going to do an equal sign, and then I'm gonna specify the range where May needs to be matched. And I'm gonna do another close parentheses. So once again, C17 is, is May, and that needs to equal in the range of D5 to D13. Now I need one more value in here in order to match against, and that's gonna be the company name. So I'm gonna put another asterisk in open parentheses. I'm gonna specify Alpha Solutions, and that needs to match against this column right here. Now I'm gonna do a close parentheses. From this point on, you would just do your index match or at least the match portion like you would any other formula. I'm gonna put a comma. It's asking me for the search type. I want a exact match. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a zero, close parentheses for the match, close parentheses for the index, hit enter. And this time I'm getting $1,200 back, which is the exact right amount that I was looking for. And the way that we did that is, is we did the index for the invoices just like we normally would do because that's where we wanna find the value. 
But this time when we do the match, we match for the number one. It's always going to be the number one. And the way we get to that number one is by giving it this string of values here. So we simply said the employee name needs to match in this column. The month needs to match in this column and the company needs to match in this column. So essentially what index match did is it found John Baker, month of May, and Knight Consulting. And it found where all three of these values were true. And it returned back $1,200. This has been extraordinarily useful in the project that my team and I have been working on this week. Like I said, we've been working with tables easily 40,000 rows plus. Uh, it has a lot of employee data, and in some cases, it's the same employee multiple times, but it's giving us back different bits of data. So we can't just key in on an employee ID or a name. We had to say this ID for this date for this type of value. And this has been um, accurate 100% of the time. It's also worth noting that you can give it more or less than three um, bits of data to actually match against. Um, this has been extremely flexible. So I hope this is useful to you. Uh, and if it has been, I would, as always, appreciate a like or a subscribe. If you can even leave a comment. Um, if you've used this before, if you know a better way of accomplishing the same task, or if you just have questions on how to use this or how to accomplish this. Uh, the last thing I will say is if you are also not familiar with Index Match, let me know. And if that's a video that would be useful to you, I'd be more than happy to make it. So as always, once again, thank you for your time, and I will see you soon.